Hey, hello there. How are you doing? I hope you are doing fine. There are only three instances where KCC can or will communicate with you via email. Did you know that? Actually, to be very precise, it should be only once. Only once. But there are other two that can also cause them to communicate to you. As a disclaimer, just so you know, that KCC has no habit of communicating to anyone. They limit that as much as possible. The form of communication between KCC and you is clearly outlined that if it is during the period for the application, you are the one to go and check. During the results time, you are the one to go and check. No one will send you an email from KCC telling you that it is the time to apply or you have won or something of the sort. They limit their communication with people as much as they can. Actually, this video is inspired by a story that really broke my heart. There was this lady, maybe you've come across that story, who applied several times, exactly three times. In 2016, she applied for the DV lottery, but she never checked for the results. And the same case happened in 2019. She applied, but never checked the results. And this might be out of ignorance, I don't know, but what happened is that she did not know anything to do with the DV lottery process. What she thought was that after applying, she will receive communication telling her that she has been selected and she should do this and this to continue. But it never happened so. So she never knew whether she was selected. So it was a sad story. But thanks that when she came to know about the information around the DV lottery, she applied again in DV 2021. And luckily enough, when she checked the results coming the May of the following year, she was selected and she is now in the US. So are you among those who never knew that you are supposed to check for your results, that nobody will communicate to you of your results? So let's go to these times when KCC will communicate with you. I will start with that one time that I've told you they will communicate to you. This is assured of. And this time is when they send a notification for the second notification letter. The letter we know as the appointment to the interview. That should be the only time that KCC would communicate with you via an email because you will receive an email notification from KCC telling you that you have a pending update on the entrance status check for you to check. And they will provide a link in there which when you click will lead you to the entrance status check where you will use your confirmation number plus the last name, the year of birth to access the second notification letter. So that is the only time that KCC should communicate with you via an email. And something to note is that this communication will come from an email address that ends with .gov. You should put that down 
the email will end with .gov, not any other ending. Now, I've said that. I told you there are three times that possibly they can communicate with you via the email. So the second one, and this is not common, is after successfully submitting the DS-260 form. They normally don't send back an email, but we've heard of testimonies where they have received such a confirmation. But it's not a must because majority have not been receiving that notification after successfully submitting the duly filled DS-260 form. So if you complete your DS-260 form and submit it, don't expect such an email. It might come or might not come. Is the point home? Other times when KCC would communicate to you via an email is when you yourself, you email them. They will do a response to your email. So those are other times. For example, when you are asking about the status of your DV progress, they will send you a response. Also, when you email them, requesting them to unlock your DS-260 form for any update, they will also respond to you and unlock the DS-260 form for you. And any other request that you send to them, they will respond via an email. You should know that sometimes KCC would want some additional information regarding your case. And if that time comes that they require additional information from you, they will also communicate with you via an email to request you for that information. At that time, they also communicate via an email. And in connection to this, you can remember in the previous DV lotteries before the December 9th, 2021, people would submit their proof documents to KCC. During those days, KCC would send a special email to you when that time for submitting your documents came they would send an email requesting you to submit your proof documents. So they used to communicate through the email. Now, what is the moral of this whole conversation? What I want you to take from this is that any other communication that comes in a very fancy way, attractive to you because you are longing for your visa. And that communication tries to get your information or your money or anything from you in the name of helping you in acquiring your visa. You should say no to such information. KCC will not tell you that you have won. They will not request you for anything and they will not ask any money from you. You should disregard any communication that comes from whichever website apart from the website that ends with state.gov. Thank you guys for watching this video. I know it comes at the right time. Please don't forget to subscribe, liking the video and sharing with your friends. And also give the topics that you want me to discuss on the comment section and I will gladly do it so that you may go through the process successfully. Let's meet in the next video.